back again, y'all. Listen, man, this a reaction is, you know, another reaction to a video I seen on TikTok. Man, this young lady, <laughs> this is a woman, you know, very attractive girl, but you can honestly tell what's been going on here. Well, at least I can, you know. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play the video and then you know, I'm going to pause it in between. But I want y'all to, like I said before, pay close attention, man, because this is how a lot of these attractive girls think. And this is the kind of, um, they're accustomed to dealing with a certain kind of individual, a man, I would say. So just pay close attention. I'm about to get it started right now. When I tell you girls, I don't care what these guys do. I don't get emotionally involved. I don't. Unless I'm married, then maybe I'll consider giving emotion in or caring about a guy. But She don't get emotionally involved unless she's married. Now, clearly, that's cap, right? Number one. Every woman got a type. And when that guy come around, you're going to get gushy and mushy like a gummy bear. And if not, that means you didn't fuck so many guys that they didn't fuck they didn't fuck your ability to pair bond away. This is clearly a female that's used to dealing with a certain kind of individual. And these are top tier guys that got their stuff together. You know what I'm saying? This is a woman that's been broken over and over again by different men. Because she thought the way she looked would be enough. And they believe in the Disney fairy tale, which is another lie. So it's a combination of that. So we're going to continue. But do you go into a restaurant and start working for free? Do you start wiping down tables, taking orders? No, because there's no contract. There's no proof that you're going to get something back out of it. So why do you go in these relationships? With no commitment, no paperwork done, no nothing, and just start cooking for these guys, cleaning for them, giving up your body emotionally, just loving. Now she said, why are you going in these relationships with these guys, cooking for these guys, cleaning for these guys, giving up your body emotionally, right? Now check this out. When you're dealing with top tier guys, when she's dealing as a female, when a woman deals with top tier man, she's no longer, she no longer has the leverage anymore. There's a small percentage of men that are top tier, right? And let's say this guy is a millionaire. He's probably 0.0001% of the population. So it's a small percentage of those guys available. You understand what I'm saying? So when she's dealing with that kind of guy, you got to get with his program because guess what? Man that make millions of dollars is very rare but beauty is common you see what i'm saying so that's that's where she ran into the brick wall because you think you coming around and you're doing this and things don't go your way all of a sudden you're gonna pull back well what's gonna happen is that guy's gonna shut the door on you and he's gonna find and he's just gonna go find another young hot girl that he can get with that's the thing that's what they that's what they fail to realize and you can honestly tell that this is a girl who fell for the Disney fairy tale. As you can see, she fell for the Disney fairy tale. So she's trying to tell girls to not get their bodies up, not to cook, not to clean, not to be feminine. All these things she's telling them to do. And that's going to lead them out the door. Because that's what they're going to do. He's going to kick them out. When you're dealing with top tier, when they listen, when a woman is dealing with a top tier guy, if you happen to be a top tier man, Guess what? You dictate the terms. They want your commitment. So they got to subscribe to your program. Now, they might got the leverage when it comes to average guys or maybe even slightly above average guys. Maybe they got the leverage in those situations. Right. But when they're dealing with the, the kind of man she's talking about are top tier guys. You see what I'm saying? That's a top tier man. So, yeah, you can go in with that attitude. But guess what? You're going to leave out by yourself. Now, let's continue. You don't have the leverage. Hold up, before I continue. She don't have the leverage. You see what I'm saying? So when you're dealing with those kind of guys, yeah, after you fuck them, you got to start adding value extremely fast. You're going to have to start doing things to keep them around. You're going to have to figure out ways to keep yourself in a position to differentiate yourself.
That's what women got to do when they're dealing with men on that level. You don't have to do it, but guess what? You won't get that kind of guy. Beauty's common. Millionaires aren't. Very few girls get those kind of dudes. You see what I'm saying? So she's giving them bad advice. This is women. This is a woman leading women off the cliff into the dungeon. Let's continue. And then for no reason. And then you get mad when they don't give you the same energy back. They never ask for any of that. That's why I say don't get emotionally involved until you know it's legit and for real. I just play these guys for money. And what they do don't hurt my feelings. That's Cap. Listen. Do she play guys for money? Sure. What they do don't hurt your feelings. That's Cap. Because you're making videos about it because somebody hurts your feelings. You see what I'm saying? Somebody hurt her feelings somewhere along the way. That's why she's making the videos about it. That's why she's speaking about that. Because it was some dudes, maybe a lot of guys, a combination of Pookie, Ray Rays, Tyrones, and Chads, tapping them. <laughs> oh, shit. Tapping them sugar walls. Yeah, activating that sugar cane juice. Just skeeting all over the place. You see what I'm saying? You see all them semen demons, how they got her acting up for no reason? You see what I'm saying? Don't do this. Don't do that. Unless you get in a relationship, you're going to go in with that mentality and you're going to leave out just like the rest of those girls. That's what happened. When they go in with that mentality and think that they don't have to apply anything but their body or they're going to withhold sex from a dude, cool. He's going to kick you out and go find somebody else who's willing to give it up. That's bad advice, man. Like I just said. You see what I'm saying? But that's a woman right there talking about some she don't get emotionally involved, right? Now, that's, that's either Cap, like I said, or either, guess what? She didn't have the femininity and her ability to pair bond and her emotional bond, her emotional, her emotional bonding fucked out of her. She didn't fuck so many different dudes to the point they get like that. You have some girls out there like that where they engage sex with so many different guys to the point where they're emotionless about it. But for the most part, man, listen, I'm going to say it like this. It's Cap. That's just anger. Oh, she don't care. Oh, you care. She's making videos about it because, like I said, there's been several guys out there who she came around with who had status and money, and then she and then she just thought that she can just look one way, and she thought she was going to be the only girl. She thought she was special. That's the Disney fairy tale that they lie and feed to these fucking women. You see what I'm saying? It's not true. And, th and that was the issue. She thought that's all she had to have. She thought it was just going to only be her. And it's so funny they say she's talking about men in general, right? But let's be honest. She's talking about a small population of men. This ain't every dude. This is a small population of guys. You see what I'm saying? These are the top tier men that she's talking about. Oh, I don't care about this. I don't care about what a man what a man do. Okay, if you don't care about what a man do, then why are you only fucking with certain kind of guys? Why are you only messing with guys on a certain level? Why are you only messing with Pookie, Ray Rays, and Tyrones, and Chads? Why you ain't getting none of them Jonathans, none of them Stanleys, no chances? If you don't care, why you making videos? This is a girl that's been broken and damaged by several different men. Pookie, Ray Ray, Tyrone, and been up in that tapping, <laughs> tapping them sugar walls. I'm telling you. I know the game, man. Listen, this is this girl. Let's, I'm going to rewind it back and play it just a little bit so y'all can just hear it. Just pay close attention. When I tell you girls, I don't care what these guys do. I don't get emotionally involved. I don't. Unless That's Cap. She don't care what these guys do, but you date dudes on a certain level who got money. But you go in with your intent to try to get money out of a guy. In order to go in with the intent to get money out of a man, you got to know what's going on. So if you didn't care, it wouldn't matter what he got. So you care what he do because she trying to get some money. She want to finesse. That's a lie. Continue. Unless I'm married, then maybe I'll consider giving emotion in or caring about a guy. But do you... Hold up. Now, think of this. Unless she married, then she'll consider giving caring and emotions to a guy. Now, what man on that level that respects himself, that got value, that understand women, game, and nature is going to Wait till he marry you, give up his leverage, 
to you in a marriage and wait for you to start getting emotionally attached to him? What man is going to marry you? You're putting it all on TikTok now. See, this, this is the thing. I don't want to go off court, but it says she was really smart. She wouldn't be publicizing this shit because guess what? All the guys you've been finessing going to see this. Then what? All you're doing is ostracizing yourself from a large pool of guys. Now, any guy that you might have potentially been able to get, guess what? He going to see these videos, and now guess what? He going to walk because he know what type of female you is. You just showed your hand to the whole world. If you can watch this video as a man and you can see how she's acting and you still take a woman like this serious, you still get this kind of girl your last name, man, you a sap. You're the biggest sap out there, man. Man, you an icy blue beta sap, man. Icy blue pill beta sap. Do you start wiping down tables, taking orders? No, because... What do working in a restaurant got to do with a man? Working in a restaurant and being married to somebody is two completely different things. Working in a restaurant and being married to a top-tier man are two different things. Continue. Because there's no contract. There's no proof that you're going to get something back out of it. So why do you go in these relationships with no commitment, no paperwork done, no nothing, and just start cooking for these guys, cleaning for them, giving up your body? Because you, she want to put herself, that's a woman that want to put themselves in position to lock down that guy. Why would they listen? Why, would, why, should, why should they listen to her, that her advice go in with the attitude of being angry with a whole bunch of semen demons inside of herself? Why should they go in with that attitude? Dealing with a top tier man. Like I said, you're going to kick your ass out. Yeah, she's going to start doing it because she didn't gave up the pussy. Guess what she's going to do? She's going to give up the pussy. Guess what else she's going to do? She's going to cook. She's going to clean. She's going to help him find other ways to add value because she got to differentiate herself from all the other girls that's competing for the same kind of man because it's a small percentage of those guys. So if it's a small percentage, why should y'all take? Why should the, these women take their advice? I mean, take her advice, go in just for sex. Or think they're going to withhold sex, go in the situation, don't add no value into this man's life, and then still think he's going to stick around. Where? Unless he's a sap, and that's going to be somebody that they don't want to be with anyway. Or that would be somebody they marry and then leave and take half his stuff. You see what I'm saying? This this is what I'm saying. She's giving, she's leading these girls off the cliff. Emotionally, just loving them for no reason. And then you get mad when they don't give you the same energy back. Yeah. You get mad when they don't give you the same energy back because men and women are different. See, she going there thinking that she's supposed to get the same kind of vibe that she giving a man y'all look for emotional support y'all look for stability y'all look for security see those ain't things that we look for as guys we're not looking for the same thing and that's what she don't understand men and women aren't the same you want him to be all lovey dubby huggy huggy with you they ain't the kind of man you chose it's a whole bunch of those dudes out there Right, it's in her DMs, Tinder, Hinge, Bumble, whatever site she used. She overlooked the same kind of man that she complaining about this dude not being. When I give him emotional support, I get my Karen, and you don't get it back in return. We don't love the same. We don't show our expressions the same. When he give you his resources, energy, attention, and time, that's his way of showing that he care. When he make you his girlfriend, he give you commitment, he give you marriage. That's his way of showing he care. Not being emotional, available to you, and being mushy and gushy like a gummy bear. You see what I'm saying, y'all? And that's her problem because she's going in it thinking that she's supposed to get exactly what she's giving. She expect him to act like her. And then when he act like her, guess what happens? She get repulsed by it and then leave. She don't understand the man and women dynamic. Let's continue. They never asked for any of that. 
That's why I say don't get emotionally involved until you know it's legit and for real. I just play these guys for money. Well, guess what? You don't get emotionally involved until you know it's legit for real. Well, guess what? He won't give you his resources, energy, attention, and time. So he knows legit and for real. So when you try to play that game, you're just going to hurt yourself. It's like, a, it's like an eye for an eye. But in that case, it's an eye. Because guess what? He's just going to kick you to the curb and go find somebody else. It's a whole bunch of girls fighting tooth and nail to get that spot. So every time you're not doing something to add in value in that man's life, guess what? It's a whole bunch of other girls who will. But see, she went in with this attitude because she get a whole bunch of attention, attention and validation from a whole bunch of beta, icy blue pill beta sap men and a whole bunch of average guys who never probably had a girl to look like her, right? And let's be honest, if she take the fucking makeup off, she probably not even that hot. You take the makeup off half these girls that they consider to be eight, nines, and tens, you're going to have a bunch of fives and fours running around this motherfucker. That's the truth. Take the makeup off and we'll see who really hot. It'll be a lot of women. Y'all will start reconsidering. All these icy blue pill beta saps will start reconsidering. All the chasing they've been doing. All the sapping they've been doing. Y'all sap more than trees in the springtime. Or the fall. Whenever, whatever season it is, they do that. But listen, that ain't the point. Back to what I'm saying, man. Listen. This, this is a woman who don't understand it. Like I said, she's leaving women, leading women in the wrong direction. They don't understand the men and women dynamic. Then she came around probably several times and thought she was just going to look pretty and just it was just going to be her and him and it's going to ride off to the sunset. Disney fairy tale. That was a cap too. You see what I'm saying? They don't, they don't understand the difference, man. And I'm going to rewind it one more time because I had a point to make to y'all. Just a little bit. Legit and for real. I just play these guys for money. And that what they do don't hurt my feelings. It really doesn't. That's Cap. You wouldn't be making these videos if it didn't. That's Cap. But see, the problem is she went in using a whole bunch of atten attention and validation that she was getting from Icy Blue Pill, Beta Saps, who don't know they work, who haven't developed themselves yet. And she used that as power and fuel. And she thought that that would translate to the top tier guys that she was fucking with. Or the Pookies and Ray Rays. Or the other guys who got a combination of other beautiful women. Right? She thought that all that attention she was getting from those dudes was going to translate. But that's when she ran into a brick wall. Because guess what? That might work with the icy blue pill beta saps. Right? But when you're dealing with top tier men who get women like you in abundance... That's when it doesn't work. That's when you got to add value. That's when you got to prove yourself. And that's the part that she didn't understand. And when I say you, I'm talking to her. But that's the part she ain't understand, y'all. You see what I'm saying? Because if, like I said, if it's a small percentage of men, right, that are top tier guys that have their money on point, have resources, influence, right, those and and there's and there's a millions of beautiful women, girls turning 18 every day. Right? Beautiful girls, a whole bunch of beautiful grown women. Who got the leverage? The top tier men has the leverage. Beauty's common, top tier men aren't. So say he got the leverage, you got to get with his program. Or you can walk, or you're gonna get kicked out and walk. You see what I'm saying, y'all? So that's when she went in with the wrong mentality because when you're dealing with the men on that level, that's when the rules switch up. That's when you got to start adding value fast. That's when you got to differentiate yourself from all the other girls that come in his life. That's when you got to realize that mass majority of those guys, that's when she got to realize mass majority of those guys that are on that level are going to exercise options. You're not going to be the only woman. Listen, they want a guy that's going to be faithful to him. Go get an average dude. He'll be faithful out of lack of necessity. But guess what? A girl like her don't want no average dude. So guess what? When you're dealing with a man on that level, you ain't going to be the only female. 
You just got to make sure that you do what you're supposed to do and add more value to his life than any other woman who can come around. That's how you differentiate yourself. You got to bring something to the table that these other girls ain't bring because most girls just going to bring their looks and some sex. That's going to get old. You're going to have to have something tangible to make him want to keep you around, to make him choose you over the other girls. And that's what they don't understand, y'all. That's where they run into brick walls. The problem is a lot of them got power. They don't use it properly. They think that finessing guys out of money is going to be the answer to things. You see what I'm saying? And let's be honest. It's a window on that, depending on how good Joe Jeans is and how well she take care of herself. She's a young girl now, but I guarantee you, man, in the next 10 years, all them options that you have is going to get smaller and smaller and smaller. And next thing you know, guess what? She's going to be, her biological clock going to be ticking and she's going to be ready to get married and regretting all these mistakes she made. They go out there with this mentality, but guess what? You got a small window. That beauty fade father time is coming to collect. So you better make sure you do the right thing while you at the peak of your prime. That's the truth that I'm talking about for her. You see what I'm saying? Because they don't understand that. They think it's going to always be like that forever, and it, it's not. You know what I'm saying? When they start having children, value decreases. Get older, value decreases. You see what I'm saying? That's the part that they don't get. They, they run into a brick wall about all these things that I'm speaking on right now. She going in talking about some she don't care and all this other stuff. Yeah, because you dealing with dudes, a whole bunch of guys with money that she don't like like that, man. These are guys that she don't like. If the right dude come around, top tier, got money, got status, got the looks. And he, because listen, every girl got a look. Every girl got a look that they like from a guy. It's that it's a look. It's a certain look they go for. And guess what? Say he come around and he got that look, right? And he got the money, the status, and he, <laughs> oh, shit, tapping them sugar walls, activating that sugar cane, that sugar cane juice, that water. Guess what? She's going to be in her feelings again. So, yeah, you can she can have that attitude to that fat old dude that's an icy blue pill beta sap who giving you his money away. Sure. Yeah. But guys that you don't respect like that, that's who she's talking about, man. It is cap. I just want y'all to understand this and see this. These this A woman like this, these are the kind of women that you stay away from. These are the kind of women that you walk. This ain't even the kind of girl that you even want to have sex with. If I'm being all the way honest, she thinks she know it all, but she don't. And what's going to happen is you're going to be, she's going to be depressed. If she keep going on that path, depressed, suicidal, old, hit the wall with no man because of this behavior. And then you, like I said, posting it on social media so everybody can see you ostracizing yourself from a pool of guys. It's a small percentage of guys that are high earners. And those are sound like some guys that she was probably dealing with. Combination of them and some Pookies and Ray Rays and Tyrones, right? Now, if it's a small percentage of men that make that kind of money and you posting videos like that, you're ostracizing yourself. And guess what? A large, a large percentage of that small group of men. Because they're going to see it and automatically be like, okay, they ain't going to take you serious. But see, they don't think long term about the decision they're making. Finessing guys for money. Why, why sit around as a woman, right? And finesse a guy out of money. When you can do the work as a female, learn what men want, become the best version of yourself, especially a woman as beautiful as her. She did, say she done the work, became the best version of herself, reserved her value, and then make these misandrous as TikTok videos, right? And put that time and energy into developing herself. Guess what? The right energy and understand what a man want and come through, add value to their life. A woman that look like that can lock down a top tier dude. She would probably get to lock down a top tier guy. And long term, you'll get more. You'll have protection. You will have security. Right. And you will have you will have a top tier dude and you will have emotional bond with somebody you want. And they'll keep you. Guess what? They'll keep your mental together. Right. You're less likely to be depressed and then even building a family, derive pleasure from kids, family, and all that other stuff, marriage. Now, add all that value. You will get that versus you going out here finessing guys and then when your beauty burn up, 
you hit the brick, you hit a dead end. You get way more as a woman if you do the work you're supposed to do, lock down a top tier guy, get married, get family. But listen, man, that's all I got to say about this video, y'all. Again, like, comment, subscribe, tell a friend to tell a friend to tell another friend. I'll see y'all in the next video. I'm out. Protection and security. You get way more. What's better? 20, 30, 40 years of marriage or to death do you part or for a female to go out there and finesse a guy for 10 years and when her beauty burn up, guess what? The show's over. I think marriage and all the other stuff I mentioned, that's more of, a, I ain't gonna even say more. That's a landslide. That's a way better deal than what they doing. See, that's what they don't get. But they finesse it now. But marriage from a top tier guy long term, that's longevity. You can get everything you getting out of finessing these guys and more. Say so you do the work as a woman. And that's where her silly, goofy, delusional, stupid ass don't realize. Now, this is not a hate. This is just a fact, y'all. This is what happens. They think that going that route is better.